I'm hungry. From the land of the rising sun comes green tea flavored Kit Kats, specifically of the matcha variety. This smooth chocolatey treat uses a light milky white chocolate with Fuji Yokuro tea leaves. While enveloping America's favorite wafer cookie, Japanese Kit Kats still have that trademark snap and unmistakable crunch. Give me a break. Trying to bolster views here on Limbo Grub, and I have a brand new strategy to make that happen. At the end of this review, this is going to be the new change of the week. At the end of this review, you're going to see a separate page that's going to have suggestions. Like for people who like my review of this, at this point, I've reviewed so many things that are similar to this. So many candy items, so many chocolate related items. I'm sure you can connect through degrees of separation one review to any other review. Um, so fans of this, I'm sure there is a whole boatload of Limbo Grub reviews that you will also like. So check those out. Um, the links will be in the description. Um, I believe if I can find out how the technology works on that, I'll, I'll even try to make it so if you click the video itself, um, it'll take you right there, but um, if I can't figure it out, like if it's not working by the time this is up on YouTube, drop me a line and, and teach me how to do it because I'm still, you know, mentally challenged when it comes to that stuff. What am I looking at? Kit Kats! Green tea! Flavored Kit Kats! And you'll see that all the text on this bag is totally in Japanese. I can't escape Japanese food lately. What's going on? Is there something about the divinity crate that I need to know? Is it based in Japan? Is that where all the gods are living? In Japan? It reminds me of like when I used to be a part of a beer of the month club and it seemed like all I was getting was India Pale Ales. I mean there's boatloads of different beers out there that I could try and I was getting nothing but IPAs and they all started to taste alike after a while. So what's the deal? Was that beer club like situated in India? I don't know. I don't know what the excuse is, but I might be looking at the same thing here. Um, so it's very, very weird. Um, I've never knew anything like this existed, but I did do some research on this, and I also found out that there is a a soy sauce flavored Kit Kat, and that sounds absolutely dreadful. Oh no! Now that I said that, the Divinity Crate is probably watching these videos and are like, "Okay, send him the soy sauce ones just for mouthing off to us." That seems to be the way they, they operate. You'll see that they're they're packed in like little minis, just like you would get them on um, on Halloween. Um, don't look like any minis I've ever seen. They're in trademark green packaging. And I'm gonna open these up. I'm gonna see. I imagine, yep, they're green on the inside. Green Kit Kats, can you believe that? This is not white chocolate, at least I don't think it is. It's not like white chocolate with food coloring in it. This is actually green tea flavored whatever. I guess it's, I guess you'd call it chocolate, but it's just infused with uh, the, the taste of, of white, the taste of green tea. God, this is just like such a weird thing. I, I don't even know how to talk about it. I don't know how to explain this. It's just so strange, I've, I've never, it's just, I don't know, my eyes are being opened to this for the first time, so just excuse me as I'm a little bit tongue-tied, but let's see if my nose is tied as well. It smells, maybe this is white chocolate flavored because it smells like a white chocolate Kit Kat. Almost exactly like a white chocolate Kit Kat. So I hope this isn't a boring review. I mean, I am tasting something new, at least there's something to be said about that, but oh well, I'll let you know. No, it definitely doesn't taste like a white chocolate Kit Kat. I've had those before. This has a different, a lighter taste to it. I love the texture of a Kit Kat. I love the way they just go crunch in your mouth. But it's not too hard. It's actually kind of a soft crunch. You only get that with a Kit Kat and stuff like rice cakes. Very, very good feeling in your mouth. Um, these are really, really delicious in a completely different way. Do they taste like green tea? I guess they do if you concentrate on it, but the taste is so light, um, you barely notice it. But at the same time, it's got like this, this unique creaminess, kind of melts in your mouth a little bit. It's really, really good. I mean, I could see myself plowing through a, a hundred of these and not even realizing it because I guess it kind of leaves a little um, 
what's the word? I, I guess it really doesn't leave an impact. Um, when, you, when you eat them, you, you feel like, you know, you're enjoying yourself, but is the taste really that great? I mean, it's such a light taste. I don't know, I really can't rave about it, but at the same time, it's not bad. Um, would I suggest you try this? I, I guess so. Just to say, just for the novelty of it, I say go out, if you find, like, if you're in Japan or something, you find these, um, pick them up. They're, they're actually not bad. Um, but just don't expect a, a really strong green tea flavor because you're not going to get that. Uh, if I were to give this a star rating, this is going to be a very hard rating. Um, I'll give it three stars because it is better than average. Um, I'm going to have no problem eating the rest of these. Um, I, I would be overjoyed if somebody gave this to me as a present. Um, wherever these are, I will be, you know, plowing them into my gullet. But they don't really li leave such a big impression on you. I was expecting a little bit more of a green tea taste. Maybe that would have made it taste worse. You never know, but at the same time, I was kind of hoping for that. Like, if it, if it tasted worse, I would consider it... <laughs> as strange it is, as it is to say, if it tasted worse, I would consider it a bigger triumph because at least it tasted like green tea. So this is your good buddy Hottie Scotty Pancake 603 saying until next time, where we answer the question, is it yuck or is it yum? Ta ta everybody! consideration paid for by the following THQ forget about EA Sports THQ is your toy headquarters for Smackdown versus raw video games as well as video game tapes based on your favorite movies like home alone and other product as well and I'll tell you what though Ted Fowler is my lord and savior and that's the bottom line cowbunga dudes